What's up, YouTube? RC Cards 88 here. Hopefully, everybody's having a wonderful evening tonight. Um, tonight, we're going to be doing a late night rip because um, not tired yet, and um, I've been wanting to open up uh, one of the boxes of illusions that I bought from my uh, local card store, um, Royal Collectibles, out in uh, Queens. Um, a friend of mine on Instagram, uh, Jay Mello, uh, had reached out and we we're talking and kind of both live uh, close by and talking about the lack of uh, LCS around us and he actually mentioned a place that I had not been to yet so took a long little bus ride out to Queens and picked up a couple of boxes of uh, illusions which is um, gonna be pretty awesome I know I'm a little late to the game um, but uh, it'll be fun to rip we're looking for three autographs which includes the one in case which is the uh, box topper and uh, two memorabilia cards uh, one of them should be a RPA as well um, first impressions, autograph memorabilia, that's the RPA. And uh, we're looking for the trophy collection parallels, the ultra rare. So um, yeah, this will be a lot of fun. Um, also, before we get into that, we, um, we've got a little bit of uh, luck in the background, hopefully. We've got the one of one Daniel Jones, so we're looking for more Daniel Jones to add to the PC. And then we've got the um, dual pen pals of Kyler Murray and Andy Isabella. So. We won this from the Mojo Chest, so uh, definitely go check out that video. Um, that video was a lot of fun, as well as uh, the Mojo Chest in general. Um, really looked forward to that product and looking forward to the second one coming out, uh, hopefully soon. Um, also, the LCS was really kind and gave me all of these packs of uh, NFL Player of the Day, so pretty cool. I've actually never opened these before. We've got uh, three thick ones and I think ten... Uh, thin, so uh, we'll definitely open these up first before we get into the box of illusions. I don't even know what's in here to be honest. I don't know if, if um, I, I know it's two cards. Typically, they're mostly uh, base cards, but um, we'll see if we can uh, get anything big out of here. That'd be kind of cool if we can pull a. Uh, oh, that's nice right off the start. That's a Dwayne Haskins right here, rookie card. Oh wow, check this out too. Two rookie cards and a uh, Jared Stidham rookie. So. I don't think those are base whatsoever. Those those look nice. Uh, not numbered either of them, but um, really nice start right off the bat because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for uh, rookie rookie autos, um, rookie QB autos. That's where uh, the money is, and the QBs, or I should say, the rookie class of nineteen is really starting to come around. Um, so I think these are the the base cards. So this is an Amari Cooper uh, Panini Player of the Day and a Nick Foles. Um, but yeah, um, the 2019 class, they're uh, starting to get a lot of playing time. We've, we've got now even Haskins playing, although he's not playing very well. But uh, quite a few of the quarterbacks are, are playing, and a lot of the wide receivers are playing really well. And then we've got some of the running backs, too, um, uh, getting a lot of playing time. So 2019 class is really starting to shape up, so it'll be interesting to see how they play for the, the next couple of weeks and if their cards continue to go up in price. Uh, so we got Lamar Jackson base, and then check that out, Kyler Murray, uh, rookie. So, you know, we've opened up, what, three packs so far, and we've gotten a Jared Stidham. And I, I feel like this card is different, because it has, like, foil on it. Um, let's see, did I miss it? Did it say Prism somewhere on there? I guess not, but it definitely has Shine, whereas those do not, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Dwayne Haskins and Kyle Murray, so three rookie uh, QBs, which is awesome. Let me know in the comments too if you guys have been opening this before and and uh, know what the Stidham is, because um, or maybe the Stidham is just um, got that kind of uh, foil look in comparison to the others. So let's see what we got here. We've got a Kenyon Drake and an AJ Brown rookie card. So either the rookies are. Um, pretty common or we're getting extremely lucky because that's four packs and we've gotten four rookie cards so far so uh and aj brown actually had a complete baller game last weekend so he had two touchdowns so like i was mentioning before uh they're really starting to come into their own so we've got a player of the day of jared goff and an aaron donald um panini base card it looks like that was pack five so yeah um 49ers, uh, my team, they're 3-0 and somehow. Um, be interesting to see how they continue to keep playing over the next couple of weeks. They had their bye week. 
Um, so that was kind of uh, interesting to have it so early in the year. I don't know how I feel about that. It's probably better to have towards the end of the year. And check that out. Uh, player of the day, Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, chrome card. I guess that's what you would call the Sidham. It's a chrome card. It doesn't say anything on the back, like, a, like it's a prism or anything. But um, it does look like it's a, a chrome. I guess that's the way of um, saying it, or, or a refractor. Um, so yeah, here we go. Quite a few packs. These are a lot of fun. Uh, and here we go, we got another Jimmy Garoppolo, and then a Zach Ertz, uh, looks like a chrome card right there. So, so far, these have been pretty decent. Uh, I have no idea what these actually go for in terms of those rookie cards, if they're actually worth anything or not, but nonetheless, a lot of fun to open these, and, you know, he threw these in just for me buying the, the hobby boxes, so pretty cool stuff. A couple base cards right there. Um, guy was super nice, James. Um, called Royal Collectibles. I think they have a website as well. He has a store right next to it too. He has two stores. One is like the sports cards and, and memorabilia, and then the other one is like kind of uh, comic books and, and other miscellaneous um, collectibles. So we've got an Amari Cooper Player of the Day Chrome card. So kind of seeing a lot of uh, overlap in the in the Player of the Day cards. Also, um, I don't know exactly how it works. I think I was listening to a Capital P video where if you actually open these in the shop and you actually hit the player of the day, then you can win like some kind of prize um, from Panini um, through like your, your LCS. So um, that sounds full, like fun, but I, I've never actually uh, done that before, so I really don't know. Uh, so we got a David Johnson and we've got a Marquise Brown. So another, another good rookie, um, rookie wide receiver who's been uh, playing really well. And this is just like the Stidham, kind of has like some foil to it. So maybe this is like the refractor or chrome version of it, but um, pretty cool. Doing doing well on the rookies. So those were the ten packs. Now this is the um, the thicker packs. So I don't know if there's actually like memorabilia hits in here or like RPAs or if they're just filler cards. So we'll we'll quickly find out. Um, this looks like yep, just dummy. So got a nice little filler card right there. And then here we've got Amari Cooper and Todd Gurley, who we've pulled a couple different times. So see what we got here. This one definitely feels um, pretty thick, so there's either a dummy or, uh, I mean, a filler or a fairly thick card. So we'll see what we get. Eh, it's a, oh, that's nice, though. Daniel Jones right on the front. That's exactly who we're looking for, so hopefully he makes a, a visit in the illusions box for one of the hits. And a Luke Keekly um, chrome card, so... So far, the thick cards are just dummies. Um, this one also feels like it's going to be a filler. What do we got here? We've got a TJ Hawkinson rookie card and a Baker Mayfield. So pretty sweet. So check that out. Not too bad. So out of those 13 packs, got some uh, decent stuff. So we got Daniel Jones, which is really cool. We've got the um, Kyler Murray, Dwayne Haskins, and Jared Siddham. So, I mean, we hit four of the top uh, rookie quarterbacks that you could hope for. So that seems to be boding pretty well for, for this box. I feel I feel good about it. I feel lucky. Um, I was able to get the uh, the third box, too, um, from his uh, from his case. So uh, my lucky number is three. So we kind of opened it up. So no turning back now. So here we go. I've watched a couple of videos and breaks. Um, I'm still not exactly 100% on uh, where the hits are located, but um, just beautiful looking cards. I, I, I love the way that this, this box is just created. It, it just looks really cool. It sits really well. If I had enough space, I could show you um, kind of better how it sits, but um, really cool stuff. I, I like this product quite a bit. I never got a chance to rip into 2018 because um, um, you know I wasn't collecting then, but you know here's your box topper. Who do you collect? Really nice looking box, definitely keeping this. I've actually kept pretty much all the boxes that I've opened. Um, at some point when I have a bigger desk area, I'll probably uh, try to do something cool with all the boxes. But here are packs. I like to count them now because I've been gypped a couple times by Panini on the number of packs. So it does look like we have 10. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So these are our 10 packs. Um, we'll kind of just get right into it and, and see what we get. Uh, so yeah, we're looking for um, those rookie QB autos. Those are, or something sh 
super uh, super short print. I've seen some uh, one of ones being pulled, some really short prints. They look really cool. Uh, these um, open really nicely in comparison to some of the other packs. Um, kind of forget how they work too exactly. Uh, where's the front? Is this? Oh, this is the front. Okay, that's right, because some of these are the acetate cards. I got all confused. I, I apologize. So here we go. So the acetate is uh, Karrion Johnson, and then um, that actually might be a hit. This might be a hit right off the start. So we'll kind of just go with it, I guess. Um, so here are our base cards. So we've got uh, James Conner. Oh, that's nice. Kyler Murray base rookie card. So already we've got one of the quarterbacks right off the start. So that's great. And and the card stock on this is is pretty nice too. Like these are these are fairly thick for you know just normal base cards. So you can tell that they're better quality. Um, it is about 150 bucks. That's about what I paid um, uh, at the local uh, card shop. Uh, Fletcher Cox and a Carry On Johnson. And behind that is Raiders. Colin Farrell. And that's just a numbered card. So that's numbered out of three ninety nine. So this is one of the, the gold parallels, which is kind of interesting because um, in the, uh, you know, other, and this is pretty cool. I, I like these acetate cards. Um, I think that's just dust in the background of Carry On Johnson, not numbered. Um, so yeah, we'll put that one off to the side. I don't want to scratch those up necessarily. Um, but yeah, it's kind of interesting because like in the gold pack or, you know, for many other sets, gold is normally like a very short print, like of 10 or 25 or something. But in Illusions, it's actually kind of, I think, like the base level of like the, the numbered cards. Um, all right, so I, I'm having trouble with, uh, I gotta remember to open them up the other way, I guess. And what do we got here? So we've got a Mitch Trubisky. That's pretty cool. Red. What was that numbered out of? Numbered out of 50, so that's a nice little short print of Mitch Trubisky. I think he's hurt with a dislocated shoulder right now, so hopefully uh, he gets better and starts playing a little bit better for the Bears. Not that I'm a Bears fan, but um, no, there's a lot of collectors out there um, who have got a lot of stock in, in Trubisky. So Leighton Vander Esch, LVE, Ed Oliver, rookie card, Marquise Brown, rookie card, which is nice, and a Jared Goff. So got some nice rookies to start. Still looking for all of our hits. We've got uh, five hits out there. Um, so here we go, flip this over, and this actually might be a, a hit. So we'll move, we'll move these to the front, and we'll see what we get here. Uh, so we've got a Josh Allen base card. We've got a Drew Brees base card. Hopefully he gets healthy soon. Um, I do like the Saints, so I, I hope his thumb gets better. Um, they had a big win against the Cowboys this past weekend. That was kind of a shocker, but... Um, it's a good team, so we'll see if they can rally together. Um, we've got here, what is this, an Aaron Rodgers uh, acetate, and then what's behind here? This does look like it's an autograph. So Bills, what do we got here? Ed Oliver. Well, before that, we have a mystique of Aaron Rodgers, not numbered. And we've got an Ed Oliver. Oh, not an autograph. Oh, look at that, though. Black parallel out of 25, so that's pretty nice. Um, you know, I, I forget what number he was, maybe top six or eight in the draft, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, look at that. That's pretty nice. Black card, nine out of 25. And even with the black, you don't really see any uh, scuffs on the edges or the corners. So it's pretty nice. Nice little short print there. So, so far, some nice rookies, some nice short prints. This feels thick um, in comparison to the others. So I have a feeling this has got one of the mem cards at least in here, either that or just a very thick pack so let's see if I can do this right so I think these are the three yep so this goes to the front there we go so now we don't really see it's kind of cool too with these acetate cards um, I forget how many there actually are in the box but it's kind of like a, a like a teaser because you can't really see through the card to know what it is but you can kind of see at least the team logo so it's kind of cool so Josh Rosen Devonta Freeman uh, David Johnson, and then what do we got here? We've got a DK Metcalf, and that's numbered out of um, 399. So that's pretty cool. Mystique Rookies, although it doesn't say that on here, but he is a rookie, and that's numbered out of 399. So 
really cool. These cards are really, really cool. I really like them. Um, I think for the price point, it's a lot of fun. And then, ooh, check this out. This is sweet. Drew Locke, Peyton Manning, and John Elway lineage. That is a pretty sweet mem card right there. Can't believe that's not numbered. You got two Hall of Famers and a rookie quarterback, and um, none of them are numbered. You know, that's kind of at least uh, at least I feel like a lot of the breaks that I've seen where um, people have pulled the triple patch. I don't think these are numbered, which which seems to be hard to hard for me to believe. Um, would be cool too if you could see some two colors in here, but um, really cool card. I, I've actually never had anything of John Elway, um, so that's that's really cool. Yeah, just checking out that corner up at the top, you kind of see a little bit of a white peak a little bit, but I think that's just um, I think that's just my camera. I think I can can fix that pretty easily. Um, so we'll put the hit off to the side. So we've got one of the mem cards so far. Uh, really excited too for this month because uh, this month uh, Prism releases, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, oh, that's a nice little card on the back, a little Juju Smith-Schuster. Some PC love right there too. And we'll move these three to the front just in case that that is a hit. So we've got a, ooh, that's nice, Josh Jacobs, rookie. He's kind of had a up and down year so far. Um, oh, another one, nice. Easton Stick, so that's pretty cool. Another nice rookie card. So pretty good rookies so far. <clears throat> Juju Smith-Schuster. And what do we got here? We've got a um, Warren Sapp. Living Legends. I mean, these cards are just so different, so cool looking. Like, there's there's no other product that's really, I think, quite like this, or at least that, that I'm aware of. So... How many of these have we gotten? We've opened up six packs, I think, and we've gotten five. So pretty high on the, the number that we're getting here. We've got a Le'Veon Bell uh, blue, numbered to uh, 299. So blue parallel right here, numbered out of 299. Um, he's actually been playing pretty well for the Jets. Uh, one of the bright spots, uh, bright spots for them, uh, actually. This feels a little bit thick. Yeah, we'll put we'll put you at the end. Definitely feels thicker than some of the others. I don't know if it's got the RPA or not. The the last pack at the bottom of that looked to be actually pretty thick. But yeah, you can tell that these cards um, definitely are, uh, uh, you know, seem to have um, better quality to them. That's that's for sure. They feel nice. Um, the packs open real nice too. So you got Tom Brady, uh, Jordan Scarlet rookie. Uh, Darius Geis rookie and then we've got a Jalen Smith and behind that we've got a oh check this out Dwayne Haskins and that is numbered to 399 that would have been a nice little auto if that would have been one of the autos um, but yeah nice little number right there gold hopefully he starts to play a little bit better because he's had a rough go so far I mean he's kind of thrown in into the lion's den um, did not play well with three picks but uh, maybe it'll be different when he's uh, the actual starter and gets to start a game. A little bit harder coming in, so clear shots. Uh, Jalen Smith. So we've got four packs left, and we're still looking for our two autos, one mem. So three out of these four have hits, and then we've got the box topper still to open. So apologize for the length of this video, but we did open up 13 uh, Panini Player of the Days uh, in the beginning, so that was fun. Um, here we go. This pack just kind of got destroyed a little bit, trying to get the cards out without um, messing them up too much here. So here we go. Oh, check this out. Man, we're getting a lot of the QBs. I'm feeling good about this, guys. I've, I feel like we're going to get a QB auto. So we got a Drew Locke, uh, Devontae Adams base, a Amari Cooper. Oh, check this out. This is nice. Patrick Mahomes Acetate out of 399. Shining Stars. Any Patrick Mahomes card is a good card. Uh, especially his numbered stuff. His his prism stuff is unreal right now. Like seriously, just absolutely unreal how much that has gone up. The Prism Silvers, just in general, over the last couple of uh, weeks. And we do have our first hit here. We've got Dre Greenlaw from the 49ers. So PC hit right there. Uh, out of 125, so at least it's a little bit of a, a lowered number. Um, defensive player, rookie sign, so that's nice. Not too bad. 
not too bad. Like I said, I feel like our RPA and our big hit, they're gonna be um they're gonna be big. I, I feel like we're we're hitting one of those those rookie QBs and it's gonna be a nice little short print for us. But Dre Greenlaw, or feeling a QB in general. I've seen some really nice um uh QB autos or or I should say legend type autos out of ten that have been pretty cool too. Some of them even on acetate, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see what, what we uh what we get out of our uh uh, what's it called? Top loader. All right. Oops, did that wrong. So we've got another acetate card right off the top. We've got a uh, Todd Gurley. Oops, sorry. Todd Gurley, Shining Stars. It's nice. Not numbered. Then we've got um, got our base cards right here of uh, Le'Veon Bell, Dexter Lawrence rookie, Odell Beckham Jr., and a Cooper Cup. And I think that's numbered out of uh, 299 blue. So, gotten some nice colors so far. So this should be an RPA and a MEM. So, what looks thicker? That looks thicker. Let's hope that's the RPA and it's something truly nasty. And then this should be, hopefully, our uh, MEM card. Well, kind of packed disintegrated on me here a little bit. So, let's see what we got here. So it looks like we've got another acetate card of uh, James Connor right here in the front. Um, we'll pull the, the three cards forward. So we've got a Joe Mixon base card, JJ Arcega Whiteside rookie, Nick Bosa rookie. So that's nice, another PC card right here. And we've got a James Connor, and then what do we got here? We got our Mem card. So I did guess right. So obviously you can see that's a Nikhil Harry. But uh, first we'll look at this uh, James Connor acetate, astounding out of two ninety nine. So that's pretty sweet. And then here we go. We've got a Nikhil Harry, uh, really big looking swatch here, napkin, instant impact, Nikhil Harry, not numbered. So both mem cards, not numbered, kind of a disappointment, obviously, because all this stuff is um, player worn materials because they haven't had a chance to play yet. Um, and, you know, for, for paying $150 a box and it all being player worn, it would at least be nice that some of this is is numbered. Um, so both of the uh, mem cards not numbered. So we'll see what we get here in our RPA and our top loader or not top loader. I don't know why I keep saying it, top loader, but box topper. Um, see if we get uh, super lucky. So here we go. Oh, feeling lucky, guys. I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky. Patrick Mahomes on the back. That's got to be a sign that this is a quarterback box. I mean, look at all the rookie quarterbacks that we had in here. Come on, Danny Jones. That's what we want. Come on, Danny Dimes. We want you right here. Or even even Kyler Murray. I'll take that. I still haven't pulled the Haskins yet, so that'd be cool. Uh, but we got a DeAndre Hopkins. Cooper Cup. Patrick Mahomes base card. Nice. And then what do we got here? We'll put that off to the side. We've got a T.Y. Hilton, astounding, and then, let's see, we'll just go one, two, three. I have not looked at it yet, but you're going to see it first. Boom. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Check that out. Josh Jacobs, Hunter Renfro, two out of 25, dual patch auto. That's pretty cool, both of them. Ironically, that is my third Josh Jacobs that I have pulled this year. I am a Josh Jacobs pulling machine. I have pulled um, him and uh, Damian Harris in Legacy as a dual RPA um, out of 50. And I have pulled him in um, Unparalleled out of 10 from a Hyper. So I have been pulling myself quite a bit of Josh Jacobs, but this is nice. So far, this has been a really nice box. Um, that is a nice little hit right there. Rookie Reflections, 2 out of 25. Hunter Renfro and Josh Jacobs, that's... That's sweet. That is a nice hit right there. Nice little hit. So go ahead and block my Instagram. Uh, everybody knows you can follow me at rccards88. Definitely hit me up if you're looking for trades because that is the best place to, to make a trade or sell me a card or to buy a card. Anything that you see is always up for sale or for trade, or at least you can inquire and I can let you know if um, it's available or not. Um, so yeah, here we go. All right, we're going to rub this on... Daniel Jones a little bit, that one of one luck right here. Maybe we got a one of one in here and a little bit of Kyler Murray right here. 
we'll see what we can get here. We'll try to go as slow as possible on this, although I'm not the best at uh, doing the rip from behind and, and seeing what it is. So here we go. Open it up. See what we get. Like I said, I'm feeling pretty lucky. Feeling pretty lucky. It's going to be a monster. What do we got here? Uh, I think we're upside down. It is blue, though. That is a good sign. We It is blue. So if we're looking for Daniel Jones, which is who we are looking for, let's see what we get here. So what do we got here? Superlatives. It's a Packer. Who do we got? We've got Andre Risen, 59 out of 75 superlatives. Andre Risen. So we got a, a legend, basically. Um, you know, nice little vet card. Um, not not the best uh, box topper for sure, but um, you know, still pretty cool. At least it's shorter print. It's out of 75. Um, could have been better, but um, our, our RPA is really nice though. Uh, Josh Jacobs and Hunter Renfro. That's that's really really nice card. Two out of twenty five. Um, but yeah, Andre Risen, not bad, not the best, but you know, not not bad overall. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Here were the hits again, just to recap really quickly. So we did get pretty uh, two pretty decent uh, mem cards. We got this lineage of um, Drew Locke, Peyton Manning, and John Elway. It's pretty cool. Not numbered, though. Uh, we got this Nikhil, Her Nikhil Harry. Uh, big jumbo swatch right here. Nice little clean little napkin. Uh, also not numbered. And then we've got a Dre Greenlaw uh, autograph out of 125. So it's pretty nice. Um, PC hit for, for the 49ers. Um, and then we've got our uh, Joss Jacobs and Hunter Renfro. Probably the best card that we pulled out of this break, two out of 25, so super short print on that. And then we've got our box topper, which is the superlatives Andre Risen for the Packers. I saw the blue down here and I thought we were hitting a giant, so I got pretty excited that maybe we're gonna pull another uh, Daniel Jones, but um, unfortunately, the Daniel Jones is still out there for either you or me to pull. And I still do have uh, one more box. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, uh, I might sit on it for a while and use it as an investment, or maybe I'll break it on the channel. Uh, not 100% sure. Uh, maybe at 1.2 I've thought about maybe trying to put together a mixer of some sort. I still have another box of uh, 19 certified that I haven't ripped yet, and now I have a 19 box of uh, illusions. So a lot of fun with this. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys have hit. It's been a lot of fun looking at other people's um, videos opening up illusions. Sorry for the length on this video. I won't do a full recap of all the other cards, but um, it was a lot of fun. 13 uh, Panini Player of the Days along with uh, one Hobby Box of Illusions. Overall, I thought it was a lot of fun. Thought got some pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, and anyways, just want to say thank you again, everybody, for tuning in, watching the video, leaving comments. I really appreciate it. We've really grown a lot over the past couple of months. It's been a ton of fun uh, growing this channel, sharing my hobby with you. Uh, to everybody who have I met on Instagram or YouTube, uh, it's been a lot of fun getting to know all of you and understanding what it is that you guys PC and making all these various deals with you. I've done so many different deals on YouTube and Instagram, Facebook even. It's been a lot of fun. So definitely if you guys are watching, you see anything you like, please feel free to reach out. Even if you just want to chat about the hobby, I'm always down to talk. It's always a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks so much. If you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. Click the bell notification to be notified when new uh, content becomes available. Um, got a lot of fun things that are coming up. We'll be doing another subscriber giveaway, probably around 500 subs. So I'll have some time to think about what will be really cool to give away. Oh, go check out Hawaiian Action Figure Guys. Um, Brothers in Cards box, uh, probably for this month, because he was the winner of my free box of uh, bronze. So. He'll have that on his channel this month, so that'll be a lot of fun to watch and see what he gets. Um, watch him pull a Zion. That would be so awesome. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for, for watching. Thanks so much for subscribing. Really appreciate the support. Until next time, keep ripping those packs.